thank you for joining Coxie 69 News. And now we go to Chris Nixon with the weather. Thanks, Amber. We have a cold front coming from the north. It's hot outside. Sorry, sorry. I'm precipitating. Okay. Thank you, Chris, for that lovely weather. We'll try that again later. In other news, this morning there was a warrant put out for the arrest of Karen Carter, Clements High School teacher, for the fact that she did not square her B. And in breaking news, a young woman woke up this morning with a mathematician hovering over her. Her brother rushed in to fight him off. It happened earlier this morning on the corner of New Cut and Parker in Coxie, Alabama. Now we go to Amber Chapman live on the scene in Coxie, Alabama. Emotions were running high. Amber? Yes, Amber, they were. She stated that the man broke into her home and tried to teach her the quadratic formula. Her brother heard the screaming and rushed in to help, try to help her solve the problem. The man escaped out the window, leaving behind evidence of his lesson. Bailey Dotson was asleep in her bed when I was attacked by some man in the country who tried to teach me math, and I knew he was all wrong. He was all wrong because I had Miss Karen Carter back when I was in high school. See, I don't dropped out now, but I I was a, I tried real hard, but I knew he had it all wrong, and he attacked me, and something was wrong. Dotson states that the intruder used the garbage can to climb into her window. Then he stood over her and he tried to show her his quadratics. He tried to teach me the quadratic formula. He opened my book and everything. Dotson struggled with her attacker, making a mess of her chapter four notes. Antoine Dotson, the victim's brother, heard his sister scream and ran in to help her. Well, obviously we have a mathematician in Coxie, Alabama. He's climbing in your radicals adding your numbers up so you better square your B, minus your 4, multiply by AC, and put it all over 2A because they're teaching everybody out here. The mathematician escaped out the window, but he did leave something behind. You left your math notes, you done left your calculator, you are so dumb, you is real dumb, for real. A crime scene investigator photographed and dusted for fingerprints on the lid of the garbage can and the window. Antoine sends this warning out to whoever is responsible. You don't have to come and confess. We're looking for you. We're going to find you. So you can run and tell that, homeboy. If you have any information on this developing story, you can contact Coxie 69 News. We will have more tonight from the victims at 10. This is Amber Chapman reporting live in Coxie, Alabama. Back to you, Amber. Thank you, Amber. Now we go back to Chris Nixon for his second attempt at this week's forecast. It's gonna rain. Just go. <laughs> Practice. Okay. Um, thanks, Chris, for that lovely weather. We'll try that again later. And in other news, there is an award. Just keep going. Stop there for a second. There is an arrest out. A, a warrant. <laughs> okay, we won't record it or anything, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's a blooper. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going? Or? Yeah.